Almost exactly 10 months after the fateful November 22nd, the seven members of the Warren Commission, headed by the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, come to the White House to give to the President the results of their painstaking investigation into the determinable facts of the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. For President Johnson's instruction to the Commission was to satisfy itself that the truth is known so far as it can be discovered. The report's 300,000 words trace the facts and, without prejudging, the implications of that day that started so brightly and ended so blackly at high noon on the streets of Dallas. Through questioning of every possible witness, restaging of the events of the morning drive, the commission reports that the fatal shots that entered President Kennedy's head and throat were fired by Lee Harvey Oswald from the Texas School Book Depository, acting solely by himself, and that there was no conspiracy, either foreign or domestic. Following the details of the crowded half hour between the time the president was shot and declared dead, the commission finds some inadequacies in security measures that might have saved the president's life had there been more liaison between the FBI and the Secret Service. In the circumstances surrounding the shooting of Oswald two days later, it found the Dallas police and the press sharing responsibility for the breakdown of law enforcement. For although these pictures showing the prisoner being led through the basement of the Dallas police headquarters and the shooting of Oswald by Jack Ruby made journalistic history, the confusion surrounding them made that killing possible and ended forever any chance of obtaining any evidence from Lee Harvey Oswald. The published report is eagerly sought after by everyday citizens. Its impact abroad and in the government is immediate. Congressional steps are to follow its recommendations for the stronger protection of presidents. And for the historians, the poets, and the dramatists of the future, it will illuminate, if never precisely solve, the mystery and tragedy that surround the death of John Fitzgerald Kennedy.